Hi there, my name is Dimitri, and in this screencast, we're going to take a look at some of the new features available in C Line 1.2, and we'll begin by looking at unit test support. Now, C Line 1.2 comes with support for the Google Test Framework, and as a result, what you can do in C Line is create a test configuration which is using either every single test in a fixture or an individual test or every single test in a file. So, all you have to do is press a simple shortcut. And C line will actually make the test configuration for you and it will run all the tests in this configuration. Now running the test in an IDE gives you lots of benefits. You get a detailed view of the tests, including icons indicating which tests succeeded or failed. You get the console output and you get the options for rerunning the individual tests or jumping to the source of the test. What we can do now is we can make the appropriate adjustments to our test and then what we can do is we can instruct CLion to rerun only all the tests that have actually failed on the previous run. In addition, CLion makes it easier to generate tests for you. With the generate menu, you can choose either test or test fixture, but even if we go with test and we use the name of a test fixture, as soon as you complete the test, you'll notice that the test has been altered to use the underscore F fixture notation. CLine 1.2 comes with many improvements to the CMake support. So first of all, we provide support for live templates. So you can type, for example, ink boost, and this will generate all the relevant statements for including the boost libraries. In addition, we also provide code completion for the symbols. So for example, if you type something after the dollar sign, you can use a shorthand notation as well. And CLine will offer code completion and actually fill in the names for you. And finally, it's worth mentioning that CLion now has a setting for forcing either upper or lowercase notation when using CMake files. CLion 1.2 comes with improved debugger performance made possible with lazy creation of GDB variables as well as many other fixes. This version also brings a more accurate rendering of certain code elements such as references as well as wide or Unicode characters. In CLine 1.2, we've made numerous improvements to the parser and resolver. So for example, one of the things that CLine now supports is the ability to infer the type of auto variables. So here I have a type of auto variable which adds three and 4.5. So if we look at the parameter info, we'll see that it is in fact a double. However, if I do change one of the variables to an int as well, now you'll see that CLine correctly infers it to be an int. In addition, CLine now handles the volatile keyword, supports line macros, the thread qualifier, and includes lots of other fixes as well. CLine has dozens of code style settings for languages such as C, C++, and CMake, as well as web languages such as JavaScript and XML. But a new feature that's been introduced in CLine 1.2 actually helps you change the code style options available to the selected piece of code. So what you can do is you can select a chunk of code, press Alt Enter, choose the adjust code style settings, and you get presented with a dialog where you can fine tune certain elements. For example, if I don't want the curly to appear here on the next line before the parentheses, I can unclick this and you can see immediately the preview. And the same goes for other elements such as whether, for example, I want spaces around assignment operators. CLine comes with improvements to its search and navigation facilities. For example, in the find and path dialog, we now give you a live preview for any search. So as you search for an element, CLine will give you the first 100 results that have been found, and you can take a look at the preview of the code as well. CLine search and replace functionality now supports regular expressions. You can turn on the flag and as a result, CLine will use regular expressions to find all the relevant expressions that you're looking for. And you're also going to get the previews of what the replace result would actually look like. And finally, if you're looking for an easier way to navigate to a matching brace or parentheses or bracket, then in CLine 1.2, you can use a keyboard shortcut, which will let you jump from one to another. 
We've also made improvements to VCS support in C-Line, and one of the options we now provide is an ability to edit the files that you are committing right inside the commit window. So if you go into VCS and commit changes, you can perform a touch-up on a particular file just by selecting it, opening up the details pane, and apart from looking at the diff, what you can do is you can actually enable editing, and here you can add a comment, for example, and when you press commit, this change will actually be incorporated. And we've also made additional improvements to perforce support, to support for Mercurial queues, and we also let users access branch operations right from the context menu in the VCS log viewer. When it comes to C-Lines look and feel, we've made uh, certain improvements. So first of all, for OSX users, we've actually bundled a custom JDK with C-Line, which makes certain improvements to the look and feel. But don't worry, you can always switch to a different JDK on boot time. In addition, we've updated the look and feel scheme on OSX, and we've also added better high DPI support for Windows and Linux users. And finally, for people with color blindness, we've added a new setting for adjusting the ID for color the deficiency. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the screencast. Now to find out more about C-Line, go to jetbrains.com slash C-Line. Thanks for watching.